Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on biofertilizers and its impacts on sustainable agriculture. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing our knowledge in bite-sized videos. Do subscribe and follow our channel for more updates. Let's dive into the topic for today. Our topic starts with examining fertilizers and the role they play to promote crop growth, enhance yield through enhancing fertility. In short, plants grow better as they are able to obtain not just the needed carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, fertilizers provide macro and micronutrients to support crop growth. This helps with agricultural sustenance. Generally, fertilizers are sorted into two groups. Organic fertilizers from decaying plant and animal matter include compost, plant extracts, seaweed and chicken manure, whereas inorganic fertilizers from minerals of the earth's crust are made by chemical processes and they usually include urea, ammonium sulfate, superphosphate, potassium chloride, compound fertilizers and mixed fertilizers. However, problems on fertilizer wash-off creates issues, such as waterway pollution, algal growth and river rhine fishes dying. Attention is then focused on alternatives to synthetic fertilizers. Herein comes a new category of non-synthetic, organic fertilizers which contains microbial inoculants, which are living microorganisms. Known to demonstrate effective alternatives to the hazardous synthetic fertilizers when applied to seeds, plant surfaces, or soil, these biofertilizers colonize the rhizosphere and develop the capacity to enhance plant nutrient uptake and make the nutrients easily accessible to plant root hairs. Moreover, they are known for their cost-effectiveness, environment-friendly nature, and composition. The constituents of biofertilizers fall into three major categories, which is grouped based on the rhizosphere microbes associated with the crops. The three categories are algal or cyanobacterial biofertilizers, microbial biofertilizer, and mycorrhizal fungi biofertilizer. Components include phosphorus a key element, together with biocompost, trichocard or vermicompost. The combination helps to exert plant growth, promoting activities. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates. With that out of the way, let's continue the discussion. Algal biofertilizers are natural recyclers and reservoirs of nutrients. A particular species of interest, known as the blue-green algae, BGA, supports the nitrogen economy of paddy fields and enhancing rice productivity. BGA in soil results in formation of soil aggregates, which reduces soil loss during rainy season. Other benefits include regulating aeration, Soil temperature, improves physical and chemical properties of soil vis a vis physical environment of the crop. This indirectly help restore soil nutrients by secreting exopolysaccharides and bioactive substances. Last but not least, algalization has the potential to mobilize insoluble forms of inorganic phosphates and phosphates are important for plant growth. Algal biofertilizers are sometimes termed as phosphate solubilizing mobilizing biofertilizers. Microbial fertilizers products play an essential role in agriculture, not only in improving the supply of soil nutrients, but also in promoting crop growth, disease resistance, and stress resistance. The life activities of microorganisms make and help the crops to achieve a specific fertilizer effect. Microbial biofertilizers help improve soil aggregate structure and indirectly loosely activate soil microorganisms to produce large amounts of extracellular polysaccharides during growth and reproduction. These extracellular polysaccharides act as binders to stabilize the soil granule structure and keep the granules. Here are some examples of microbial species that make great biofertilizers. The general functions of the bacillus species and its strains includes roles in increasing crop resistance and nitrogen fixation, in resisting disease and kills harmful bacteria. Other roles include secretion of antibacterial substances, the production of antagonism, competition between nutrition and space, induces host resistance, and promotes plant growth through root health. 
Symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria such as the rhizobium is one of the vital symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria. Here bacteria seek shelter and obtain food from plants. In return, they help by providing fixed nitrogen to the plants. Another species is the azospirillum which is loosely associated, often termed as rhizosphere association as these bacteria collect plant exudate and the same is used as food by them. This process is termed associative mutualism. Other examples of free-living nitrogen-fixing bacteria include saprotrophic anaerobes such as Clostridium bigerinchii and Azotobacter. Mycorrhizal fungi uptakes minerals from organic matter for the plant. An example is the arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi which constitute a group of root obligate biotrophs that provide the host with water, nutrients, and pathogen protection, in exchange for photosynthetic products. Apart from nutritional benefits, fungi-plant interactions provide other benefits to plants, such as improved drought, salinity tolerance and disease tolerance. The impacts include improving the ecosystem, as they improve the soil structure and aggregation. For the road ahead, the past decade has seen research on biofertilizers with multi-strain and multi-microorganism consortia being carried out on small trial scales. More could be done on a large scale for the improvement in crop productivity vs single strain. The global economic crisis is now forcing growers to try to understand the potential of sustainable agricultural systems and of reducing the input of phosphorus. Efforts geared towards making biofertilizers easily available for farmers and on top of that scaling up biofertilizer production and training for farmers are being put in place. Other areas that the research and agricultural communities could focus on include sustaining productivity of natural resources and attaining high productivity and higher cost benefit ratio with appropriate strategies based on sustainable agricultural practices. Biofertilizers can prove a boon to sustain our agricultural production and to meet the demand of increasing population for agricultural-based products while conserving and sustaining the natural resources for future generation. Advances in processes and technologies to cultivate algae and manufacture algal biofertilizers on a mass scale is needed given that biofertilizers remain underutilized on a large scale despite their potential. Hence, going forward, farming communities promote the application of biofertilizers among farmers to obtain higher agricultural sustainability and awareness. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates.